Matt Johnson here. You know, recently we've got a lot of questions about the brand new Silky from Clam Outdoors. Us as employees of Clam are getting bombarded, our pro staff, the retailers. It seems like that product has taken the industry by storm, especially this last week or two. And I really want to talk about how to rig it. That seems to be the number one question is how are you rigging this? How are you fishing this new option for panfish? And we want to show you how it looks in the water. So we got our trusty jig tank here. I apologize in advance for some of the reflection. You're going to get some reflection off this, but I think you're still going to get a pretty good idea of how this jig fishes. So for starters, I got a number 12, good old trusty drop kick jig on there. And I'm going to show you how to rig this silky. I grabbed a white one. There's all kinds of colors to pick your passion. I've been using the browns and natural colors. I just grabbed a white one. That's the silky. A lot of anglers look at it and go, hey, there's nothing to it. It's just a piece of silk strand through a little rubber bead and you're right but i'm going to show you how this thing fishes in the water and why there's such a craze for starters you have that hard piece of rubber it's very durable this thing catches a pile of fish and i think that's a big reason why anglers love it i'm literally just punching that through you got to be careful not to hook yourself poke that nose through and now i'm just sliding that rubber ball on to that hook and you can see right now i got it just nip hooked Right there, you can see it on the contrast of my hand. Just nip hooked. And that's this is actually one way to fish it. And this is one way I really like to fish it. Let me show you what this thing does in the water. I'm gonna throw this in the water. And the cool thing about this silky is over time, this bait gets even better. The more it gets broken in, the more fish you catch with it, the more those silk strands wanna disperse. You can see right now, just after a few seconds, those strands are already starting to move and dance look at that they're already starting to come out it looks like an insect in the water almost neutrally buoyant those fish come up they see that little bead on there they try to suck that bead in try to suck those strands in and guess what that hook point is right in their face i can set the hook so this is one easy way to rig the silky again i'm not fishing this with bait there's no plastic on there at this point that is the application now you can see when i pull it out of the water it kind of mats up looks kind of ugly but again you throw it back in the water and it just opens right back up and looks good and it doesn't freeze even if it freezes to itself in cold conditions once you get this back in the water those strands open back up and you can fish it effectively so that's one way to fish it i want to show you another way i was catching fish on this last weekend you take that exact same silky it's nip hooked right now i'm sliding that ball all the way up against the head the base of that hook right now i'm taking my favorite plastic I happen to like to fish that Mackie minnow. And now I'm threading that minnow on just like I would any other day. And now I call this double rigging. Now I got a plastic and silky combination. Throw that down. And you'll see just the profile and action it gives that bait. It gives it those nice little tentacles on the side. It also keeps, look at that. That bait's not spinning when I come to a stop. It also helps control that lure. So not only does it give it some appeal, some profile, some added attraction, but look, it come to a stop, it holds it nice and still. Most jigs want to spin on you, and that's so detrimental to catching bluegills and crappies. But with that silky, I think it even helps keep that bait in position. So I'm working it pretty aggressively. I should have some line twist, come to a stop. That thing's still nice and still. So that's another way to fish it. I call that double rigging. You have the silky plastic combo. Another way to do this, we'll take the plastic off. You can put the silky back down on the end here if you want to try to give it a larger profile look. And what I do then is I take one end of these silk strands and I can slide it all the way through just like this. Now I got a long strand of silk coming out. So many ways to fish this bait. Now watch how this fish is in the water. Hold on a second. I'm going to retie that knot. We caught a bunch of big ones on it. We want to make sure we don't uh, lose the next one, which is an important tip all the time. You don't want to miss the opportunity at a big one. I'll tie this knot on really quick. Sorry, dentist. I apologize in advance for biting on that fishing line. Drop that back down. Now look at that tail. Now you got a big, look at how that thing just moves in the water just naturally and just almost looks like smoke down there. 
nothing opens up it's a bigger profile i can work it up in the water column i can make it look like a dancing minnow and it has more for that fish to really hone in on so that's when you want to keep that bait long you can see that how oh, cool is that down there just something these fish have never seen before now with that same setup i keep that in the same spot i can then take a cutter or a nipper and i can cut let's say we got light biting fish i can take a little bit of that off it cuts nice and easy i can shorten that silk again looks looks, looks like a matted mess on there i watch me put that back in the water now just a tiny little tail on there to entice those fish to bite they can hone in on that white bead they bite that bead that hair is literally neutrally buoyant they get that in their mouth and it's game over man we caught a pile of fish on this last week and we plan to put it to work again this weekend so there's a handful of ways to fish that silky i'm sure there's ways you can creatively think of your own ways to fish this silky but that's the ways i found it to be successful and the beauty of it like i said is it's very durable you're going to catch piles of fish i don't know how many we caught on one silky uh, it might be too durable of a bait but i'll tell you what it catches a pile of fish you can keep fishing you can get out there on cold conditions you're not rebaiting your hook and you're out there with your line in the water catching more fish so hopefully it'll help you understand this new silky from clam outdoors and how it can be something you need to add to your ice fishing arsenal